is going on everyone it's been about six or seven days since the last time i uploaded a youtube video over the last week i was in colorado as you can see right here and i talked about that in one of my last videos uh unfortunately while i was there i was unable to make any youtube videos i just did not have the time i was two hours behind i was on mountain time so yeah it was pretty difficult to really do anything thankfully though i was able to edit and upload one of my last movie reviews while I was over there, but that's about it. So originally I planned on making two new first watch reaction videos. The first is exactly what I'm doing today. That's Fargo. I was going to do it while I was in Colorado, but did not have the time. So instead I'm doing that today. And then I was also going to do a first time reaction video to watching the movie Glory, which I've never seen before. I think I may push that back to November because I have far too many Halloween videos to do over the course of the next week. So right now I'll do my Fargo first time reaction video. Then I'll do all of my Halloween videos. And then sometime in November I'll do Glory and a bunch of other videos right after spooky season is over. But for right now, let's do my first time watch reaction to the film Fargo. I have about 30 minutes left remaining of Fargo. This is absolutely one of the best crime thrillers I've ever seen. I completely understand why so many people love this movie as much as they do. The writing is perfect, the performances are excellent, Let's see how the final 30 minutes goes. Officially done the hour and 30 minutes of Fargo. As I stated, this is one of the best crime thrillers I've ever seen. And it's pretty unique for a crime thriller because typically in this genre, you don't see too much comedy, but they do incorporate just enough comedy to make this movie feel more lighthearted than you would expect from a crime thriller. The writing, editing, and framing are all done to a superb degree. I have to give them credit because it's not very often that you see those elements handled as well as they are in film. And in this movie, they're done extremely well, especially the writing. That's exactly how people talk in the northern part of the United States, so I thought it was all on point. Plus, I can't ignore the great cast filled with excellent performances from Francis McDormand, William H. Macy, Steve Buscemi, John Carroll Lynch. Everyone nails it with their character, and this movie does have a lot of scenes that may come off as random when you initially watch them, but as the film progresses, you start to understand why they are there and they do work like the francis mcdormand dinner scene or the scene where steve buscemi is getting extremely ticked off at the man who is asking him to pay four dollars for parking those scenes might come off as random at first but eventually you understand why they are there because everything connects by the film's end there are numerous intense moments that build up to not one but two climaxes in fargo the first comes within the first 30 minutes and then the second climax comes near the end of course this is fargo after all so some of that tension you feel during those moments is relieved by the comedy which again is great this is why this movie is so good because it mixes both intensity with comedy which you don't see too often and another aspect of fargo that i find original is that we don't meet arguably our main character until after the first 30 minutes usually you meet your main character in a film within the first few minutes but in this movie it takes about 30 plus minutes to meet francis mcdormand who like i said is arguably the main character not to mention there are barely any genuine characters in fargo besides francis mcdormand and her husband in the film john carroll lynch they're the only two the rest of them are a-holes you don't root for anyone else besides her and her husband and that's what makes this movie so cool because everyone is basically an a-hole. I think the only problem I can pinpoint is that the last 15 or so minutes fizzles out. I did not find it nearly as good as the first hour to hour and 15 minutes. The last 15 minutes is just so-so. I feel like it could have been directed better by the Kellen brothers. But as a whole, Fargo, I can understand now why people are so crazy about this movie. And there's no doubt I am ecstatic to watch this movie once again in the near future. So after my first viewing of Fargo, I'm going to give this movie a 95%. All right, for those of you who also happen to see Fargo, be sure to let me down below in the comment section what your thoughts are of it. Next up, I will be doing several Halloween type of movie reviews. One of them is The Shining, which I've never reviewed yet on my channel, so I'm excited to do that, as well as Poltergeist. I also will be doing a special It versus It Chapter 2 video, so get ready for those coming up very soon. If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I hope you all have a fantastic day.